Manning is a journalist who stumbled into a strange world when she started asking questions about alternative energy sources and heard the story of an early 20th century inventor named Nikola Tesla. Tesla is almost a cult hero and an overlooked genius. And he has so many inventions that are at the basis of technologies that we have today. She went to a conference on Tesla and had a close encounter with a mysterious scientific researcher who became her deep throat, her Mr. X. He sent me a file of materials about the uh, Bernard Eastland patent. About a month ago, the U.S. Patent Office granted a patent to a Houston-based scientist, Dr. Bernard Eastland, for an invention which, Dr. Eastland says, could be used to change the weather. Dr. Eastland says the invention could also be used to disrupt communications all over the world and might be used to destroy or deflect a missile attack. The Eastland patents had the ring of the mad scientist aspect of Tesla. Tesla talked about this Tesla shield around the planet and um, talked about particle beam weaponry something called a death ray. Death ray? Jean wasn't sure where all this was leading until Mr. X called again. And he said, the maniacs are actually going to do it up in Alaska. Mr. X's maniacs were in the U.S. Pentagon and he was convinced they were conspiring to build Bernard Eastland's sky zapper under the guise of a nice little research project deep in the Alaskan bush called HARP. The uh, basic concept is to build a very large antenna, then to utilize a large amount of uh, power and uh, to beam those radio waves up into the upper atmosphere. Have you approached the Pentagon with this invention? Yes. And what I'm not at liberty to tell you is the details of what that interaction has been. The word spread through the Alaskan bush, and soon a band of suspicious Alaskans set out to warn people about what they saw as the U.S. military's secret agenda. And what you have with HARP is sort of the universal hammer for geophysical warfare. Nick Begich is the chief conspiracy theorist. So when did you know that, that you were onto something? I think as soon as I saw the references to um, Tesla's work and when I read Bernard Eastland's original patents, I realized that what we really had uh, here in Alaska was a prototype for a ground-based Star Wars weapon system. HARP is a non-classified project run not by Bernard Eastland, but by the U.S. Army and Navy. The official HARP story is told by one man, John Heckscher. It consists of several types of transmitting instruments and numerous scientific um, uh, instruments that study the, uh, the natural uh, ionosphere and uh, the ionosphere that has been uh, perturbed by the instruments that we are building. The ionosphere is a sea of electrically charged particles in the upper atmosphere, and the instrument is a powerful radio wave transmitter. Does it have any military applications? Um, the site itself is strictly a, a scientific research site. Um, perhaps the outcome of some of the science, perhaps some of the results, could be applied in a military to military systems. Just a little physics project? Jim Roderick isn't buying it. He's been gunning for the real goods on HARP, and his weapon is the Internet. The military is incapable of doing pure science. Science is conducted by them for application in weapon systems for no other reason. From his shack in the middle of an Alaskan village, Jim and his co-conspirators around the globe have been tapping into databases. They've dredged up hundreds of long-buried scientific reports and even some internal documents from the military. They call it the world's first techno-protest, and they did it all on the military's own baby, the net. Plans uh, for HARP activities uh, correlate with 
projections of what can be done in the Eastland patents. It's, it's, it's that simple. So it's not a coincidence? It's not a coincidence. Well, um, I hate to disagree with you, but uh, uh, it's not his patent that we're building. Superficially, yes, um, they send energy up into the ionosphere, but um, the, uh, the Eastland patents require huge, prodigious, in fact, amounts of power, like 100 billion watts. Remember that number, 100 billion watts. You'll hear it again later. Um, HARP requires only uh, 3 million watts. There is a paper trail leading no. us back to Eastland. No, there is not. There is no uh, paper trail that I'm aware of that's leading back to Eastland. Eastland used to be an employee of the company, which is building HARP, but that's pure coincidence. Is it also a coincidence that the tiny company that owned Eastland's patents was later swallowed up by an enormous military intelligence firm called E-Systems? 2.1 billion in annual sales, 1.8 billion of that, with a B, was to a military intelligence groups, CIA, NSA, um, and others, and of, of that, 800 million were, were black projects, so, so secret that even the United States Congress didn't know what they were. E-Systems was then swallowed up by Raytheon Corporation. It, too, specializes in super-secret contracts with the Pentagon. Why would Raytheon be so excited about this? Well, it's a ground-based Star Wars weapon prototype. For them, it represents potentially billions and billions of dollars. So how would you describe this world of E-Systems and Raytheon and HARP. Dark. 